Hi, I'm Steve from Mills Motion, your video marketing expert. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own video meme. That is those videos that you see with the text at the top and at the bottom of your video. These videos are extremely effective on social media, specifically Facebook. That's because they've got the text at the top and the bottom that you see without even having to play the video. And that creates like an open loop. As you're scrolling through Facebook, you read something about the video at the top and the bottom of it, and you don't get the punchline unless you hit the play button, which I think is kind of brilliant. I mean, when you're posting a video, you want people to hit the play button on it. And, um, and with these videos in particular, you can say something and your viewer on the other end, they don't get the punchline unless they hit the play button, um, which I think that's really, really cool. Facebook actually preferences people who create content that people engage with. So if you're making engaging content, Facebook will preference your content, meaning your content will get in front of more people. And that's why it's so important to create content that people enjoy and that people engage with and these these are one of those pieces of content so today I'm going to show you how to do this in two programs the first program will be Final Cut Pro X and you'll see how quick and easy it is when you're working in a program that has um, lots of flexibility and lots of control um, and then I'll show you some workarounds to be able to do it in iMovie iMovie comes free with every Mac and it will be very similar to a whole range of lower cost editing suites. So uh, there's, there's two options there and one of those options I'm sure will work for you on your computer and your editing software. So let's jump straight into this. What are we trying to achieve? Check this video in the top right corner of the little goat. Uh, the goal is, jeepers, the go <laughs> The goal is to create that video with the text at the top and the bottom and the black bars so that you can see that text clearly. Let's jump into it. So what I'm going to do, for demonstration's sake, I'm going to start a new project. Go to meme. Awesome. We'll just let this be set based on the first clip. I don't mind. Okay, now we have a blank slate down the bottom so we can start dragging in all the stuff we want to be in our end video. Now that we've got this in our video, this top right shows us uh, what the video looks like and what will ultimately be in it. As you can see, it's taking up the full screen. There's no room for our text to go over black bars. So we'll click on the clip that I just post, uh, put down in the timeline. And then we'll click on this button over here to show the inspector. This will bring up all the different parameters that I can edit uh, on this video. Then we just want to go up here to scale and we'll drag that down until we are happy. Bang. That was easy. And then I'm just gonna get a basic title from inside of the titles area. We'll drag that on, drag it over the whole video, edit the title, and then change the position of it. Then, and then we'll just do the same thing over again. I'll copy and paste that, and then I'll change the text and lower it down to the bottom of the page. And there you have it. Now you are ready to export that into its final file. So that was really, really easy. You can play around with that and tweak a lot of the settings quite easily um, to make it look prettier if you want to. But the end goal of the black bars and the text was right there. Um, iMovie, now let's see this in iMovie. iMovie is a much more limited program. So you'll need to do some workarounds to get that same amount of flexibility. And I think this will, be a bit, this will be the same with a lot of other free programs like Movie Maker and things like that and low cost ones where you're just a bit limited in what you can do. So we'll create a new project here. Um, using that button at the top. We don't need a theme, we just want this to be blank. Go. So here we go, we've got our timeline down the bottom here again. Um, I've got my goat video already loaded. So if I drag that in here, I come up against a problem. Because it is a cheaper, more basic program, I cannot um, I, I cannot cut off those tops and the bottoms of the video. Uh, it gives us um, cropping things, but it constantly fills up the whole page. So there's nothing, so there's nothing we can do there. Um, we have a dilemma. The video fills up the whole screen and there's no way to scale it down because it's a cheaper program and it's a much more simple program it doesn't give us the op 
opportunity to scale the video down like in Final Cut Pro. So you need to do a workaround and there's two options. The first option, jump over to my website and download some PNG files with some black bars. Uh, you find them in a folder called Meme Text Bars and you can drag that straight over the top. of your video and bang there you have it you'll have some space to put your text over the top now that's a really really quick way to achieve that but there is one problem you do end up cutting off the tops and the bottoms of your video so is there a way to get around that and have the same flexibility of scaling up and down your video as in Final Cut as we did in Final Cut Pro X there is um, follow me over to the maps and backgrounds section what you want to do is you want to drag on a background into the bottom part of your timeline drag that out a bit and we'll jump back over here and instead of putting our goat video down the very bottom you put it over the top of the black part okay this lets us do something interesting so now it's at the top there set as a cutaway over here as you can see this drop down menu that I'm hovering over Click on that and turn it to picture in picture. It turns it into a small picture. Um, this feature was designed so you could put a picture inside of your picture, um, overlays of images and things like that. But it gives us the opportunity to scale up and down now. And that looks really good. That is the only way that you're able to scale them up and down, but look, it's doable, it, it, it works, and that will give you the opportunity to have the black bars at the top of the bottom without cutting off your video at the tops or the bottoms, which is really, really cool. Now let's throw some text onto it. Now you do inside of iMovie have some other limitations. You can only do one layer of text. As you saw in Final Cut, I was able to do one, two layers of text and control them individually. In iMovie, you can only do one layer of text. So I use the centered one um, and I just use the enter button in the middle to make a whole heap of space. Add one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want to overshoot it by one because it does a strange thing where it pulls them back together. And she's done. Drag out your text across the video. And there we have it, our video meme ready for upload to Facebook. If you've got any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, be sure to give us a like. And if you would like more content just like this one, hit the subscribe button. I'll be making more in the coming weeks. I'm Steve from Mills Motion. Thank you so much for watching and all the best with creating your video memes.